all right good morning everybody today is the big reveal uh we've got our big new rv right here in front of me and we're gonna start the remodel in it i don't know how many videos we're gonna do but this is uh this is it it's a new mar mountain air 2001 it has about 58,000 miles on it it's in overall pretty good condition. The uh, inside just needs some TLC. There's a few things on the outside that need to be taken care of. Uh, one thing is the, the windshield here has started to pop out at the top, which I don't find is a big deal because the refrigerator inside needs to be changed out. So we're gonna change the fridge out and that'll come in and out through the windshield and then we'll have that fixed. So that's not a big deal at the moment, but Let's go inside and see what we're working with we're gonna pull all of this carpet out and replace the floor uh, as you can see it's just old a little dated a little dirty all of that um, there's a few blinds that need to be fixed as you can see I got started I pulled the, the drawer out from under here this side has seat belts so we're thinking we may put bunks here that has a curtain on it for the kids not sure yet Got a dinette. We're gonna change out all these gold. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. The battery died on me. So all these fixtures here have the gold trim, all the pulls. So we're gonna change all of the lights out that have all the gold on it. Brittany's not a big fan of it and I don't care for it either. Uh, not sure if we're gonna keep the gas stove top. There is no oven in here. So we may, uh, let me turn this fan off so you can hear me okay so we may swap that out with an electric not 100 percent sure yet but it's got the glass backsplash it's got some good accent glass in the the uh, cabinet doors fold up countertop it's got a uh, china cabinet set up here which is probably going to end up being britney's coffee bar this is the fridge that needs to be replaced so it matches the wood i think we're going to go back with a residential uh, most likely our only issue is is the furnace is under there and most of the residentials we've looked at are 70 inches high which this one is 60 so we're gonna have to figure that out let me see if i can get some lights on back here all right mattress is gonna go the closet the carpet in the closet's gotta go uh i think i'm gonna do something a little different with the engine cover back here it's not gonna have the same flooring as the rest of it but basically we're cleaning this out ac controls there's two ac units in here we're gonna change this short shower door out i don't want all that gold trim on there either <laughs> so it just needs some TLC, you know, some fixed up. You got a toilet in here, bathroom. This is washer dryer hookups, but there's a little fridge in its place right now. And then you got more storage up here. So that's the access for the upper side of the washer and dryer hookups to get them connected. You have two sliding pocket doors. So there's one here. And they velcro in so they're a little hard to pull well maybe a lot of hard to pull there we go all right just had to swap hands so these pull and they actually lock there's a little locking mechanism on there so there's one there and there's also one to the bedroom so you can pull these two out and you'll have the whole bathroom to yourself The shower is pretty big. That's one thing we'd like so far. So the shower door is just about broken off before. So the shower is pretty big. I'm six foot tall. So there's also a little headroom in here with a skylight, which I can see has this plastic piece needs to be replaced. But there's a few things outside that need to be taken care of. Overall, the uh, all the compartments are good and things like that. And um, we're gonna get started. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I've got this couch loose already. I just slid it back for the video. Show you kind of what everything looks like. 
but uh, I'm going to pull out everything on this side. We're going to take the carpet off this slide, and then I'm going to move it all over to this side, and I'm going to start pulling the carpet out of here. We're also going to pull the tile up so that we can put the uh, same floor through the whole thing. That's the plans. Um, we like the wood, so we're not going to paint the wood. Um, not sure what else exactly we're going to do, but uh, we'll... We'll kind of update you along the way. There was a TV in there, and then he changed it to uh, a flat screen that didn't fit in there. So that's all your controls up here. It's your control panel, AC, all of that good stuff. And then uh, you got the old Panasonic. It pops out and folds up, and that's your rear view camera. This is a diesel engine. But uh not sure what else to tell you right now. For the most part, we just gotta get started on uh we'll call it demolition day. And we'll start demoing everything and show you what else uh we find along the way. But long story short, this was a friend of the family's RV that uh has gotten sick, has some health issues, and needed to get rid of it. So we made a deal with him and got it for a good price. We're, uh, we're going to put, say, ten to $15,000 in it is what the plan is. And then once we finish with that, we'll find us a used Jeep once the fifth wheel and the truck sells. And hopefully be completely debt-free. That's the goal at the end of this. So if you have any questions or uh, any ideas for us or any recommendations on something you, you think would work out good for us, let us know in the comments. We're always up for anything. So you never know, something you suggest might end up uh, in our RV. So until next time, keep bringing your dreams to reality. We'll see you soon.